Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review the new romantic comedy, A Nice Girl Like You. And this film is about a young woman whose current relationship kind of falls apart over a lot of different things, but mostly center centering around sex. So she makes herself a to-do list, which she's obsessed with. She has to-do lists for everything. And she tries to check a bunch of things off of this sex to-do list. And she has a group of friends that she plays in a small quartet with, and they all help her. And in general, I thought this film was a lot of fun. And Lucy Hale, who's at the center, she's a fun character that you get to go along with this journey as she's trying out all these different things. One of the big issues of the film is the fact that all the dialogue, especially from her, feels very forced and very on the nose. And it really takes you out of the film. And especially because this film really starts off with an argument with her and her ex, now ex-boyfriend. And the whole conversation feels so stilted and just awkward and so unnatural. But when she starts on this little journey of hers, you start having some fun. And all the actors who play her friends really bring a lot of energy. And this new man who she starts falling for, he has plenty of charisma. And you enjoy that ride mostly because of the characters. They do all these different kinds of scenarios and they have some pretty decent gags, whether it's going to a sex expert presentation, which is a lot more sexualized than she thought it was going to be on a first date, or going to a strip club and all these different kinds of things. And it has a good message, but in general, the writing's a little stiff and a little awkward, but based off of the performances, it's still a decent amount of fun, and I had some fun with a nice girl like you. And I'm not the hugest fan of rom-coms. If I had to pick any genre, romance probably is my least favorite film genre. But this film does enough to catch my, that caught my attention. And I feel like if you're a fan of romantic comedies, you'll get a lot out of this film. So, in general, for the mainstream audiences that aren't those die-hard rom-com fans, I feel like this has some bits in it that are going to give you some enjoyment. So, I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to rent this, but if you wanted something light-hearted and you had somebody else interested in watching it, why not watch it? But if you're into rom-coms, I think you'll get a lot out of this. But those are my thoughts on A Nice Girl Like You. Comment, let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.